What's going on, world? I go by the name of Draco. Welcome back to STL TV. I hope that you missed me as much as I have missed you, okay? Now today, ladies and gents, I just want to let you know, get comfortable. Get your popcorn, get your family, get your friends. This is a moment. This is a moment, why? Because we are celebrating something so amazing that's coming, that's coming, and it is here. Um, Black Girls Behind Music. We have none other than the queen herself, Miss Brandra Ringo, ladies and gentlemen. Can we clap it up at the crib? Can we clap it up? What's going on, queen? How you doing? I'm good. How are you, Draco? I am great. I am great. First of all, thank you uh, for joining us today on STL TV, for spending that time to to conversate with me, to chop it up with me, to talk about all Black girls behind music, everything Black girls behind music. I cannot wait to dive in. But first and foremost, how you feeling today? How, how you feeling? Where are you at? It's been a week. It's been yeah. a crazy week. We have um, we have a bunch of releases. Um, I work at Quality Control A and R, and so I've been. My sleep has been just completely thrown off, but it comes with the jig, you know. Like it is what it is. So we're not going to just breeze past your title like this is just normal. This, this is not normal. <laughs> this is extraordinary. All right, you feel what I'm saying? So not only are you um, a part of the A and R team, you are a, a co head of the A&R team at QC, which is huge as of when, February officially, or was it February of this year? But yeah, they announced it in February. I, um, I'm, I'm like anti-media, all of, not, not really, but like I always shy away from it. So it had been in effect probably a year before that, but yeah, we made the official announcement this past, this past February. That's amazing. Well, congratulations again. I know Thank that it's well deserved, especially with your resume and your hard work. Um, we're not going to get into that right now. We can talk all day and all night. Okay. <laughs> we are here for <laughs> Black Girls Behind Music, which is yes. one of your, which is one of your babies, of course, with your co-founder, uh, your counterpart, your sis. Um, I want to dive into Black Girls Behind Music. So first and foremost, what is it? So Black Girls Behind Music is a nonprofit specifically for young Black girls 16 to 22 that this year reside in St. Louis or surrounding areas. Um, I'm very unapologetically on young Black girls, you know, like I feel like I work in a music industry that's male dominated and I want to look to girls who are probably in my position coming up in St. Louis and those people that want those opportunities to potentially work in the business. I want to be able to give them that, you know? Absolutely. And when it comes to that, um, was there a specific reason that you chose St. Louis? Because first of all, thank you again um, for even um, honing in on a city like this. I was actually having a conversation with a young lady. She was in the military, but she's based in St. Louis and she is a producer. I actually was able to meet her and she wants to get into production, African-American. So I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to dive into uh, why St. Louis? I, I'm born and raised in St. Louis. So no, for sure. Like I have to get back to home first. You know, as the organization grows, we will add additional cities, but I have to get back to home. Absolutely, absolutely. So when it comes to Black Girls Behind Music, was it something that um, you were inspired to create as, 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 as far as, um, was it specific to what your role is as an A&R or did you want to expand it? No, so it's expanded. So the, the organization itself will have three parts. We will have the etiquette and development phase, which is first. The second phase will be mentorship. And then the third phase will be like a retreat. And so I'll explain a retreat a little bit later, but the mentorship phase will be specific to whatever the interests of the girls are. So we're in application, we're in the application process right now. Um, once we finalize the first 10 girls and determine what their interests are, we will get mentees specifically in that field in music. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I know um, June 15th is when the application closes. Is that right? It is, but I think I may give it a little bit more time for a few more people. I only said that because I wanted you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you extended it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think I'm going to extend it a couple more weeks, probably until the end of June. Absolutely. So where do you see this going when it comes to um, a from the mentorship piece, um, where do you see this going specifically in St. Louis for our young black queens, our young African-American queens 
uh, black and brown um, who are who are looking to get into the industry? I see it as an unlimited platform for networking, for your net worth, you know, in the future, for just resources, whatever you want it to be. Like there is no cap on it, there is no box on it, there are no limitations. So I think most importantly in the music business, relationships are most important. And mentorship is a part of those relationships. A lot of times um, in my career specifically, I've had a lot of women that have reached back for me. So and without those women, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now. So it's really whatever you want it to be. I tell like my mentors all the time, like never feel, like a lot of people are like, I don't wanna call you cause you're busy. I'm like, don't think like that. Call me whenever, whenever you need me, call me, you know? And so it's basically like an open, um, platform so that these girls will have those relationships. And what's amazing is um, as much as our young queens, our young African-American queens are in the industry, it's not highlighted as much until um, someone like you yourself has been promoted. You see that on Billboard. Someone like your counterpart who's a part of the Billboard 2022 Top 20, you know, uh, women's mm -hmm. list. So when it comes to that, um, why is that in, in, in a sense? Why is that in what is Black Girls Behind Music? What are you all looking to do to bring that more to the forefront to where it's always in our faces because it's needed? Yeah, well, ask me that question just a little bit differently because I want to make sure I'm understanding you properly. Yeah, so when it comes to why we are, why our young Black African-American queens are not seen in the forefront, they're in the music industry. They're heavy in the music industry, but it's not seen like you would see on a news channel or you wouldn't see that in most right. publications. Um, right. Why is that? And then with, with Black Girls Behind Music, um, how are you all pushing that agenda forward to where it's celebrated more? I think it's a couple things. Um, for the longest time, I always played the back role and I just wanted to work, you know, and I think there is this stigma or this pressure that we have in the African-American community about you have to work twice as hard, right? So as you're working twice as hard, you don't have time to be in the limelight. You're just working, working, working. And so when that happens, you're, 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 um, there's a shadow or there is like, um, there's not a bright light on you because, you know, if you're just too busy at that point and, or people are just too humble. You know, I think I went through a phase where I was too humble in a way, but when I think about it, people can't, if people can't see me, they have nothing to reference. They have nothing to look up to. So that's really one of the reasons, you know, that that's the main thing I've overcome recently that I want to do less of. And I think as women, we just do that in general, no matter if you're black, you're white, you're Asian, you're black, like no matter what it is, we always play the back role. And of course, the, the music industry is male dominated. But I think over the last few years and probably a little bit longer, women have really taken their roles and, and empowered themselves and each other. And so we're at the forefront now and it's happening. It's not where we want it to be, but it's definitely been a lot of progress. Um, and your second question was in terms of the organization, what was it? How do you all look to push that agenda forward to where you all are seen more in that light? Because obviously it's something that's needed. How do you all att tend to uh, push that agenda forward? I want to empower girls to be themselves, you know? I think I had a lot of pressure to be perfect. I had this perfectionist mentality and being a perfectionist gets you nowhere, you know? You're always striving to have things before you can move. And so it's okay to just be who you are and make mistakes because you'll figure those mistakes out along the way and with your experience and other people will see you and they'll help you. But if you have this perfectionist mentality, you'll never get anywhere. You'll never start. And I think this organization is probably a great example. Like I've always wanted to do this, but I wanted it to be perfect. So now I was like, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to see what's out there. I know I need to help people. And there were so many resources that just started coming out of nowhere. And so you just have to do it. And I think I want to empower people to make mistakes. I think there's a lot of pressure on people to like be your best or, you know, be perfect or work twice as hard, like I was saying, but like, it's okay to make mistakes. All of us will be okay. No one's gonna die, you know, like it, it's fine. I, I encourage people to make mistakes because I'm like, you're not gonna get fired. I'm not gonna fire you, you know? <laughs> so like, let's figure this out along the way. 
And that's the beauty of it. When you say mistakes, it's, it's falling in love with the process as well. And that's mm -hmm. what people love to invest in. When you see the process, you're more invested in Black Girls Behind Music because you see from the foundation, it's intent. Um, and right. not only it's intent, where it's going to go in the future. So with Black Girls Behind Music, really quick, I just want to really tap into um, the application process, what that is like, and then yeah. what what our young African-American queens can look forward to if they are chosen. Yeah. So the application process, it probably takes, I mean, maybe 10 minutes, maybe five. We ask a lot of questions. We're asking, um, of course, like the backgrounds. Where are you from? What high school did you attend? Like, um, what are your interests? So there is a slide, like I was saying earlier, um, there's marketing, there's publicity, there's tour management, there's management, there's A&R, of course, and so forth. And so we're asking, what are your top what are your top interests? And so based on that, we can decide. We also are asking like, why do you think you should be chosen to be a part of Black Girls Behind Music? Cause you know, we wanna know those things. We asked a few questions that a lot of people have been asking us recently. Like we're asking about like the income of the family. Like I do wanna know the type of girls that I'm dealing with. I don't care if you're, if you're um, low income but I do wanna know what we're dealing with going in because I wanna be very sensitive to those needs as we're dealing with the girls. And so we do have that, that's a part of it. It has nothing to do if you'll get accepted or not but we do wanna know. And so um, speaking about that, we do have an in-house life coach that will be working with the girls just to talk about coping mechanisms and how to get through life. Like, you know, I tell people all the time, I think this generation is a lot more sensitive to mental health than probably the generation that I come from. And yeah. so what I do know is that with everything that does go on, even though I know you need to take breaks, a lot of people don't care. And so you have to find a way to take a break while still moving forward and not letting anything affect you, not letting anything affect your bread, your success but you gotta still have a balance at the end of the day. So we do have people that will help you move day to day through just regular life scenarios and how to navigate and balance, you know, day to day professional relationships. Absolutely, so I can tell you firsthand, Brandra, thank you again so much, so much for bringing something so important to the forefront, um, highlighting that queendom, highlighting your queendom through black girls behind music. Um, and however I can be of some service, let me know, okay? Please let me know, for sure, for sure. Please let me know, I think that's important. Um, you, as much as you all as black women support us, we need to do that as well. So I wanna make sure that they can follow Black Girls Behind Music on Instagram. If you go to Instagram right now, all you have to do is type in Black Girls Behind Music. Um, you can also f visit their website at blackgirlsbehindmusic.org. Am I right on that? Yep. Yep, yep, okay, so make sure you follow them ASAP, all right? I need their followers to go up 100, 200 by the end yeah. of the week. Can we do that, y'all? Sure. So make sure you follow them. Make sure you follow them, Black Girls Behind Music. Again, Brandra, it's been a pleasure. It's Thank been you. so, 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 so important for this to happen. Ladies and gents, there you have it. The queen herself, Brandra, the co-head A&R at Quality Control Music, and they are pushing something that's amazing called Black Girls Behind Music. Make sure that you tune in with them on Instagram and all social media platforms and connect, connect. They are doing something amazing for the city, so make sure that you stay connected. And of course, you have to rock with us here at STL TV, so make sure you follow us on all social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, everything, all right? And also follow us on our website, stltv.net. You know who I am. I want to know who you are. All right, I go by the name of Draco, so make sure you stay tapped in. Peace and love.